Hi, welcome back to the Angular and Spring Boot CRUD tutorial. In this video, we are going to create a form inside the view template and also we are going to call the save expense method inside the view template. So let's begin. So let's go to the add expense view template, add expense.component.html and inside this, let's get rid of this paragraph and we need to create the form. Before that, uh, we need to import the forms module because we are using the Angular forms. So let's go to the app.module.ts file and just above that, we're going to import the forms module and we are going to import it from the Angular slash forms. And we are going to import the forms module. And also we have to import it inside the imports array just like how we have imported the browser module and the HTTP client module forms module okay so now let's save this and now let's go to the add expense.component.html and inside this let's quickly create the form so let's make use of the form tag and inside this we are going to create a div. Okay, let's keep it simple. Uh, we will worry about the design part later. So let's quickly create the input text box, input and which is of type text. And we are going to add a name and this will be expense. And we are going to make use of the ng module for the two way data binding and all the developers just like they call it the banana in a box. I'm going to call it in the same way. So it's a banana in a box, ng model. And inside this, we are going to specify the, the path, just like how in our spring, we will specify the path in our JSP. And we're going to make use of the same approach, but this is the angular way, that's it. So if you go to the add expense.component.ts file, we are creating this expense object and we're going to make use of this object itself so let's go to the view template and inside this let's say expense dot expense because the field name is also uh, expense that's why uh, we're going to uh, call this expense dot expense this expense is nothing but the object name if you go to the add expense.component.ts file this is the this expense and the dot expense which is nothing but the field name if you go to the expense class you can see we have this expense again so that is why it's expense dot expense don't get confused okay so now let's add a placeholder okay enter the expense name okay so let's quickly take a copy of this and paste it in the down and let's quickly change the bits that are required. So the next thing is amount and let's change this as well. Amount and enter the amount inside the placeholder. Okay, so let's quickly add the text area for the description. Let's add it over here and let's quickly change this to text area. Text area and let's close this and let's close the text area. Okay, so now let's change this to enter description and we can quickly change this to description and let's change this as well. Okay, so now we have the forms in place and now we need to add the button. Okay, we're going to add the submit button Let's say button type is equal to submit and I'm going to call this add expense. And to this form, we are going to attach an on submit, which is an event. And this is ng submit is equal to, and we're going to call this save expense. This is what we have defined in our TS file. So if you go to the add expense.component.ts file, you can see we have this method save expense. Let's call this save expense and let's save this. And all we need to do is we have to create 
add expense button inside the list so inside our list view template we just need to create a button which is let's call the instead of button let's create an anchor element and in, instead of the href we are going to use the router link if you use normal href then when you click on this anchor element the entire web page will get reloaded so we don't want to do that like we are using a, using a single page application so make sure to use the router link so this is what uh, like internally it will call the uh, like backend services so make sure to use the router link don't use the href let's add this add expense text and we have to navigate to the slash add expense okay so let's save this and now let's navigate to the browser and you can see already we are in the slash add expense and we are displaying the form so but let's actually remove this and if you navigate to the root of the application it will navigate to the slash expenses now we have this anchor element which is add expense so when the user click on this add expense we will be navigating to the slash add expense where we are displaying the expense form let's actually enter the details and see whether uh, the data is storing in the database or not so let's quickly uh, store the data i'm going to add water bill and the amount let's say 700 and description this month water bill sorry for the typo let's click on this add expense <laughs> you can navigate it to the it is navigated back to the list of expenses and you can see the water bill which is 700 which means our application is working and the expenses are storing in the database let's actually verify in our mysql database just for the um, cross check or the testing let's go to the mysql database and let's rerun the query we should expect four records okay so the water bill 700 and this month water bill description okay so now we have completed the adding the expense to the database so we have completed the backend part as well as the front end part so in the next video we are going to looking at the editing and expense so that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video